let's look at composition of functions. For example, let h of x equal the absolute value of 4x to the 4th plus 2. Let's find two functions, f and g, such that f composed with g is h. Well, this means f of g of x. And h of x is this absolute value, 4x to the 4th plus 2. So we're looking for two functions such that when we compose them, we get this function h of x. So the inside function here, g of x equal to 4x to the 4th plus 2, and the outside function, f of x, equal to the absolute value of x will work, won't they? Because what is f of g of x? This is equal to f of, and g of x is 4x to the 4th plus 2. And what is f of any input? We take that input and we put it in here where we see an x. That is, this is equal to the absolute value of 4x to the 4th plus 2, which is our h of x. Therefore, we found two functions such that f composed with g is h. However, they're not the only ones that will work, are they? For example, g of x equal to 4x to the 4th, and f of x, equal the absolute value of x plus 2 will also work, won't they? Because what is f of g of x? This is equal to f of, and g of x is 4x to the 4th. And we find f of any input by taking that input and plugging it in where we see x. That is, this is equal to the absolute value of 4x to the 4th plus 2, which is h of x. So there's more than one choice for f and g that will work. All right, let's look at another example. Let k of x equal 1 divided by the square root of x plus 2 quantity cubed plus 1. Let's find three functions now, f, g, and h, such that f composed with g composed with h is equal to k. Again, this means f of g of h of x. And k is this 1 divided by the square root of x plus 2 cubed plus 1. So now we're looking for three functions, such that when we compose them, we get this function k. Well, won't h of x equal to x plus 2 quantity cubed, g of x equal to the square root of x plus 1, and f of x equal to 1 over x work? Because what is f of g of h of x. This is equal to f of g of, and h of x is this x plus 2 cubed. And what is g of any input? We take that input and we plug it in here where we see an x. That is, this is equal to f of the square root of x plus 2 cubed plus 1. And what is f of any input? We take that input and we plug it in here where we see an x. That is, this is equal to 1 divided by the square root of x plus 2 cubed plus 1, which is this k of x. So these three functions will work. However, again, they're not the only ones that will. For example, h of x equal to x plus 2. 
g of x equal to x cubed plus 1, and f of x equal to 1 divided by the square root of x will also work, won't they? Because what is f of g of h of x? This is equal to f of g of, and h of x is this x plus 2. Again, what is g of any input? We take that input and we put it in here where we see an x. That is, this is equal to f of x plus 2 quantity cubed plus 1. And what is f of any input? We take that entire input and we plug it in here where we see x. That is, this is equal to 1 divided by the square root of x plus 2 quantity cubed plus 1, which is k of x. So these three functions are not unique. All right, and this is how we work backwards with compositions. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.